First question comes from Brad, of course, of Prediction Strike. I do not want to trade Randall, but I'm curious what his value would be around the league. If for some reason we did trade him, what could we get back and who would be interested? Now, I, I had to put this one first because so you, we've, so we, <laughs> we've spoken so, because it's, it's like we don't think they're going to trade Randall, but it's also a fun exercise just like uh, ha- how much you value his play, how much you think other teams value said play. That's not so, the reason you put this first. You you put this first so you could make me look like an asshole for the second straight mailbag pod because the last question you put first was the one about ranking our our trade assets and I put RJ what did I put RJ Barrett fourth and I'm going to have to live that down for the rest of my life because like I jammed up and I rushed my my answer and I just it was really unfortunate. And I'm going to try to to um, make up for that now. You, I don't know what it is. Yash has always been just on top of it. You just, I don't know what it is about RJ. This is, the, the belief is not connecting somewhere. No, the belief, and listen, it's there now. I just needed to see what we've seen over the, whatever it's been, 11 games since we did ah, um, that podcast. Blind Hope is so much more fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> Um, okay, where where are we sending Julius Randle? Um, this is a really good question. So there aren't a lot of teams that I think have the tradable salary, or at the very least have the tra- have the tradable salary that they a- would actually want to trade. Um, looking just down the list of standings right now, the obvious teams that jump out to me are Boston because they have the trade exception and I believe they're still starting Tristan Thompson at power forward. Is that correct? That I, sounds right. Yeah, that sounds well, right. Who, it doesn't it, sound, it doesn't sound right, but it, well, you know I mean, I mean. Oh, look at this. My daughter's sneaking in here now. Um, I love how she always waits till I start these things and then she starts to sneak in. Uh, I, Indiana, oh, sorry, not Indiana. I was, don't know why I said Indiana. Um, Charlotte, Charlotte? Who we've talked about before. Um, I'll take Malik Monk. I'm sure you would. It's that's not going to be enough though. Um, yeah, I I almost said Denver because of the Gary Harris salary; it matches so easily. But I don't like it, Gary Harris on like a first round pick is not getting it done. And what what do you? Oh, you want your just ask for your backpack. You don't have to be mischievous about it. Jesus. This kid, what did I what did I raise here? Sneaking in to get her backpack. Craziness. Um, so no, no to Denver. Um, you know, I feel like Portland always tries to acquire talent so they can never be counted out, but they don't really have the tradable salary. I don't think that the Knicks would want. Um, I, the I, Okay, the Warriors. So I think the Warriors and not that the Minnesota? Knicks would want. No, come oh. on. No, they're too far out of it. Um at, mm, I was almost going to say Dallas, but the Knicks would not trade. The, the Knicks would sooner <laughs> – Leon Rose would sooner jump off of the roof of Madison Square Garden than trade Julius Randle to Dallas. Um, so the war, I'll say Warriors, Charlotte, and Boston. And I'm not sure there's a deal there because let's just take it one by one. What does Boston have that interests you? Anything? Um, because they don't really have anything that interests me. Um, like in terms I'm going of going through the list of Ainge treasure chest held too long turned prospects, and I'm not well, that, coming but up that's, with any. So that's the thing, right? Is like they have some interesting young players. They have Romeo Langford. They have Aaron Nesmith, who they just drafted. No, thank you, and no, thank you. They have Grant. I like Grant Williams, but again, these are you know Peyton Pritchard. It's like these are yeah, not but for Julius. No, I'm I'm just making the point that like they yes right. they have young guys, but you give me you could give me two or three of those, and I wouldn't. And, What's the point of Pritchard if he's not even going to get minutes over quickly? Come on. <laughs> yeah, so it's a no from Boston, especially since like the again the value of those. Um, the picks would be limited because they have Jason Tatum and I feel pretty good about Boston situation moving forward. Maybe not as a contender, but as a, as a team that's going to be, you know, in the thick of things. Um, I'll go to golden state next just because. So man, Money. well, here, oh, goodness gracious. 
here's the there are two ways that they could go here. You ready for this? I'm not sure you're ready for this. Draymond? No, come on. All so right, you you know you said so you said money. I went, right? I went crazy. I went crazy. No, you, so you said money, and that's because they currently have a payroll that is 174 million dollars and is going to cost them in actuality. I don't know what the luxury tax multiplier. It's going to cost them an obscene amount of money if they keep this roster together for the rest of the year. So sitting there looking at Andrew Wiggins, three years uh, left at um, a total of 91 to whatever it is, million dollars. Wiggins has been good this year. Um, He basically is the player that Thibodeau always tried to turn him into. Uh, Obviously I'm not giving up Julius Randle for, for Andrew Wiggins, um, right. as, as like a straight up swap and they're not giving James Wiseman and, and that would obviously create an issue with Mitch and like I don't want to like, oh man we could have a whole podcast on this hey your roommate's home um, yeah. what's up Eric <laughs> just, just for shits and giggles I'm not, I don't think Golden State would offer this but if they called up and they're like you can have Wiggins and Wiseman no for Mitch no. and Ju- oh. <laughs> for Wait. Mitch and Julius Randle why? Well, I wouldn't do Wiggins and Wiseman for Randall. Wiggins, they're giving us Wiggins and Wiseman. We're giving them Randall and Mitchell Robinson. I'm saying if we weren't giving up Mitch, I still don't think I'd do it. Hold on, does that work with the money? They would. They uh, we the Knicks might have to throw in a small salary. So, so you're saying I would wait. not do that either. <laughs> uh, I I I don't. I was not high on Wiseman and. Mitchell Robinson seems to have the coaching staff for him. Um, if keeping him here long term is in the interest of the team, which don't say anything because it's a question. Don't even make a face. It's a question. I'm not don't spoil. It. All right. Yeah, not um, <laughs> then I would I wouldn't swap him for Wiseman. To I wouldn't downgrade him just to downgrade Randall. I I, I don't think either team would. Say, I think the Knicks would say yes to this. No. Uh, wh- why? Because why think did they, they do that deal? Because I think they. I, I, think they would believe in Wiseman big time. And I think they, and I think they would look at it as we're turning Randall, who is again, a, a top but with the, 20, 30 Wiggins player does, like the in the cap, league this year. The I, think Wiggins, I think Wiggins makes a lot more sense. I think, let me rephrase that. Cause to, I'll put no that way, out there dude. and then I'll get it thrown, thrown it back. Leon Rose face. hired people who know the game of basketball to run this team. There's no way you they watch flip. the Warriors a lot this year. There's no way they flip Randall and Mitch for Wiggins and Watt. This is like offensive. What is the, what is the, uh, I, you, you might, I know you weren't high on Wiseman. I wasn't high on Wiseman. He's, either. Like, you know how I felt about Mitch and I'm still, listen, I'm just, I'm just saying, I think the Knicks would say yes to that. I don't think the Warriors would would uh, would do that, especially since I think if I the think... Knicks say yes to that trade, Leon Rose needs to clean house, including himself. <laughs> Listen, I'm just telling you my opinion. All right. Um, the <laughs> other too. the other thing, and this is the the one I I would love to do, but I also think the Warriors would say no to, is um, uh, Randall for Kelly Oubre and, and some kind of salary. I would you know I guess. Uh, guess Looney um although Looney, like he Looney actually plays for them I don't know would they, they would they would probably have this I don't know want to make Bazemore want to make her pool someone some other salary for um for Randall and we'd also be getting the Minnesota pick oh okay I was like where is this going I, again I don't I don't think I don't think the Knicks um I don't think the the I don't think sorry I think the Knicks don't think, would do that I don't you don't think, think Randall is the that. guy Golden State wants to cash in that pick well because on, if so if which I get so you're you're that that Minnesota pick is the is the golden ticket of the NBA right now it's the thing that gets them in the Beal discussion if Beal decides he wants to be moved then maybe he does and he's just not telling anybody who knows um, but New Orleans you know it's it's a yeah, New Orleans. It's it's a goal. I've been ticket. saying New Orleans for Beal. Well, I think Jeremy might, too. I think you might be on <laughs> something. Um, whatever. I think I don't think that they want to cash that chip in for Julius Randle, especially since Julius Randle, on t- in addition to what they already have, which is again, it would be Green, Wiseman, Wiggins, uh, Steph. Like, I don't think that guarantees them a. a Win like a first round playoff series win. I mean, hell, they may not even right. they may not even get out of the playing game if we're being honest. Just because I I don't know that I I see that fit, which is the same reason I don't think they do the other trade. I don't think they'd give up Wiseman and and um 
and Wiggins for for Randall and Mitch. So no, I guess we've, we've talked about this for a while, but I feel like it was an interesting one. I, if you think the Knicks would turn down getting fucking James Wiseman, you're insane. I'm just telling you. I'm just I'm saying it's that you're you're wrong about that because I we know <laughs> Tibbs likes Wiggins. Like that's kind of that's been documented. Wiggins likes Tibbs. He spoke highly of him just last week. Wiggins would like he'd slide right into the next lineup. You'd, you'd be solving part of the problem that you have right now with OB being blocked by Randall. You get um, Wiseman in here who could theoretically space the floor. You know, you you, have, you could have some funky stuff going on. I, I'm just, that's, th- those are the deals that I thought of. And again, Warriors say no to both. And what was the last team I said? Oh, uh, Charlotte, which, you know, first round pick and Devontae Graham, which I, I don't think I'd do that I'm at this good. point. Yeah, I think you know, given given how it looks like the the, the Hornets are going to be able to pretty securely slot themselves into that 14, 15, 16, 17 draft range, um, you know, I, I just yeah, that's not the that's not the so uh, long winded way of saying no. Uh, Randall's probably not going to get traded, and also hi from uh, from me to you, Brad. Uh, what's going on, bud? 